Welcome to the video tutorial series on the Customer Self-Service Portal. My name is Sophie and I'm a member of the support team here in Sydney. Today, we're going to look at adding and managing users, as well as dealing with login permissions and licenses. Let's jump right in. Here we are on the Map Browser. When you need to head to the Customer Self-Service Portal, all you need to do is head to the main menu in the top left corner and head down to My Account. As a NearMap Administrator, you can invite other members of your organisation to access your NearMap subscription. Only account administrators have the ability to invite new users to the organisation's NearMap account. To invite users to your NearMap account, all you need to do is click on the Users tab, which can be found in the centre of the top navigation bar. Click the Add User icon. You will be directed to a new page that will look just like this. Once here, all you need to do is add the email addresses of those you wish to invite into the text box. If you're sending more than one invite at a time, make sure you separate the addresses by either a comma or a semicolon. You can invite up to 100 people at a time. If you have more than 100 people to invite, you can do this by adding them in batches of 100. Click Add Email Addresses in order to add them onto the list. If you accidentally input an invalid entry, it will be shown in red, like so. An invitation will not be sent to the invalid email addresses, so make sure you check that they are all correct. Finally, hit send invite to X number of users and those invitations will be sent out. The invitees have 30 days to accept the invitations or else the invitation will become invalid. So make sure they all RSVP as this is a party they don't want to miss. If you want to monitor the status of the invitations, click back on the users tab, then head to the invitations tab. Invited means they are yet to accept their invitations. Expired means they didn't accept within 30 days. By clicking resend, you can invite the user again. Withdrawn is where all systematically withdrawn emails will appear. You can also search by email address to find a specific user, and you can use the filters to see only users with the filtered status. Now that we have our users, let's look at how best to manage them. Managing a user has two steps, enabling a user's login permissions and granting NearMap licenses. An enabled login permission allows a user to log into NearMap and the license allows them to view our imagery. Let's look at login permissions first. You can enable a user's login permission in the Users tab. Ensure that the disabled filter is checked to see all users whose permissions are currently disabled. Click the checkbox next to the names of the users you wish to enable. Then, from the Actions drop-down, select Enable Selected Users. Similarly, if you wish to disable a user and stop them from logging into NearMap, select the users to disable by clicking the checkbox next to their names. Click the Actions drop-down and select Disable Selected Users. If you wish to allow or disallow users from viewing maps, you will want to grant or revoke their license. To grant a license, all you need to do is within the Users tab, select the checkbox next to the users' names, and then from Update Licenses drop-down, select a NearMap license to grant the user. To remove the license and stop the user from viewing maps, follow the same steps in the Users tab. Click the checkbox, and from the Update Licenses drop-down, select Unlicensed. Administrators can also change licenses by following the same steps and selecting a different license to use, if available. Finally, depending on the size of your organisation, you may decide to have more than one NearMap administrator. Back in the Users tab, find the users who you either wish to add or remove as an administrator. Then, check or uncheck the Is Admin box accordingly. Lastly, click Submit. This will either remove the user as an admin or grant them administrator privileges. Every account must have at least one administrator at all times. The final administrator will not be able to remove their own privileges. So if you are the last remaining administrator and you need to revoke your privileges, you will first need to appoint a new administrator to handle this responsibility. This newly appointed administrator can then remove your own admin privileges. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any more queries, please check out our information documentation at docs.nearmap.com. Thanks for watching.